Hi, my name is Jen. I am a teaching artist with Michelin Puppets, and today we're going to make etching prints using shapes and patterns for skip counting. For this project, you're going to need a baron or a wooden spoon, paper plates, a brayer or a foam brush, water soluble ink, a tray or pan, a cutting board, foam plates, small cut pieces of paper, small dowel rod, a pencil, utility knife, tape, and regular size paper. The first thing you will need to prepare is the foam plates. We're going to cut this stack of plates into rectangles with our utility knife. Just slice right through. Set these aside. Then each of your students will get a small piece of paper where they will write their name on the lower right hand corner. On these small sheets of paper, they will choose one shape to draw two times. They will take their foam etching plate and tape it to the table. And then take their drawing that down and then they will use their small dowel rod to trace their drawing etching it into the foam plate and once that's done take it off the foam plate Take the foam plate off the table and move to the tray. With the brayer, you're going to move it in one direction only. You can turn the plate, but only roll the brayer in one direction, like this. This is going to spread out the ink, hold down my etching plate, and also only roll it in one direction. Nice and even, one end to the other. Then move over to my paper, set my etching plate down, take my baron, press down a little bit, and move the baron around in a circle. Little circles. And then lift up the etching plate, and we have a print. You can also use the foam brush instead of the brayer. You just have to water down the ink a little bit and then again, move only in one direction. Artists use etching prints to make multiples of the same thing. I have two more triangles, and I have four triangles, and I'm skip counting. You can use multiple colors, different shapes, and have a lot of fun. Missy puppy, hooray!